Welcome to Paris. This city is known as the city of light and the city of love. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the 10 best things you can do in this city. The best way to start this countdown is by enjoying a light, flaky, and buttery croissant in the capital of France. There's nothing better than going to a Parisian bakery, getting a croissant, and walking around the streets of Paris eating it. Our favorite bakery for croissants is Saint Boulangerie. This place makes a croissant perfect and you just have to try it out for yourself. The next spot is the Eiffel Tower. It has three different floors that are accessible and the best time to go to the top is around sunset when you can see Paris during the day, at sunset and at night. At the top, you can also see Gustav Eiffel's secret apartment that he had. One of the most romantic things to do in Paris is have a picnic in front of the Eiffel Tower. Pick up some wine, baguettes, cheese and any other food you want to eat and just set up and have a nice picnic. At night, go across the Pont d'Iena on the other side of the Eiffel Tower to get stunning views of the tower. Just past the bridge is Trocadero Square. This is a famous spot for getting great Paris photos. Unfortunately, when we were there, it was under construction, so we couldn't get those photos, but there are also street performers here often at night, and they make for a great night out. Paris is home to the most famous museum in the world, the Louvre, and inside is probably the most famous painting in the world, the Mona Lisa. The entrance to this museum is already really nice with the pyramid and the entire museum that looks like a palace. There are also so many exhibits inside the museum and 66% of the art in the museum is done by French artists. If you spent a minute looking at every piece of art in the Louvre and spent 8 hours each day doing that, it would take 75 days to see everything in the museum. Galleries Lafayette is one of the most beautiful malls in the world and is home to some of the world's most famous stores. There are so many floors in this mall and all of them have an open center to be able to view the entire mall from any floor. At the top of the mall is a really nice view of the Eiffel Tower and the rest of the city. The best way to have a full Parisian experience is by sitting at a street side cafe. You can enjoy some great dishes here, grab a coffee and people watch while letting time fly by. This is a great way to experience the traditional Parisian lifestyle. If you want to try some great crepes, I recommend Brace Cafe. It has some of the best crepes in all of Paris, and you can get either a sweet or savory crepe depending on how you're feeling. Just outside of Paris is the town of Versailles. This is just a short train ride away from Paris and home to one of the most famous palaces in the world. The Palace of Versailles was built in 1634 and King Louis VIII wanted to show off France to be the cultural capital of the world. Everything in this palace is made in France and it all looks astonishing. The gardens in the palace are huge and home to so many fountains. If you plan on coming here, coming for 9am is the best time because it has the smallest crowds and it felt like we had the palace all to ourselves. At 10am the crowds already get really huge and you're stuck in some really big lines. Canal Saint Martin is a beautiful area in Paris that has a canal running right through it. This area is where locals go to not be stuck in large crowds in Paris and it's another great place to sit at cafes in a more chill environment. One of the most elegant restaurants in Paris is Bouillon Chartier. It's also a more budget friendly way to enjoy a fancy Parisian restaurant in style. The interior is designed really well and the escargot is a must try at this place. Also wine is fairly cheap and it's also really good quality. The rest of the items on the menu are hit or miss so you just have to take your chances and hope you get something good. Champs-Élysées is a 1.9 km avenue that starts in Place de la Concorde and ends at the famous roundabout right at the Arc de Triomphe. All the stores on this avenue are really fancy and great for window shopping and one of the best macaroon shops in Paris has a location here. La Durée is a great place for some of Paris' best macaroons. Get yourself a box and take them right to the Arc to try them there. You can also go to the top of the Arc and get amazing views of the streets connecting to it and then obviously the Eiffel Tower. The nicest area to go on walks in Paris is Montmartre. It's so nice that even locals go here despite the crowds. Walk towards the Place du Tetre where all the artists sit around and paint people. Nearby is the famous Sacre Coeur which is a free church to go inside, but you have to pay to go up to the dome at the top. There's also nice views of all of Paris here. The Wall of Love is also located here in Montmartre, which is a wall that says I love you in a bunch of different languages. And for some of the best photo spots, go to Le Maison Rose, which is a cafe here, and it's also the area with the best photos in Montmartre. That's all the 10 spots, but if you've made it this far, here are two bonus spots. A great bar to spend a night out in Paris is La Vramatique. 
The entrance to this bar is a laundromat and you enter through the laundry machine. It's pretty small on the inside, but the seats are really nice and the drinks are great too. Jardin des Tuileries is a charming park just outside of the Louvre. This is a great place to walk or bike or to just chill and enjoy the stunning flowers and plants scattered all over the garden. Comment all your favorite spots in Paris and if you want to see more, click the video showing up. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.